I came from a really small church. And so when we came here, it was kind of culture shock. And so we wanted to connect with the church, but we didn't know how. And so after a couple of weeks of being here, we started hearing about these life groups. And Megan had reached out to us and she was like, hey, have you guys ever heard of groups? And we're like, well, we've heard about it. We don't really know what's going on with them. And she's like, it's a really good way for you to connect with the church. And we're like, that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, are in the group, like we all serve together on the worship team, but and we've done a lot of life together. We've lived a lot and we've gone through things, but whenever you kind of allow yourself to open up and share things that, you, that you've that struggled with for a long time and allow people to pray with them, um, they've gotten to know me and I've gotten to know them, but we've shared a lot more. We've carried our burdens. The big thing to open up to people about is your finances. And we said, what? why not just jump in head first, dive in? head first and go in and just tell everyone what our issues are and just let them help us. Yeah. And we went in scared to death because we're like, great, they're gonna find out everything about us. And I'm, the first time we went in there, we sat down and we prayed and it was just peace that we felt. And we got to find out that even the leaders had the same issues that we had. And not being married at that point, it really helped us when we did get married. Well, we joined because I, we wanted like a deeper connection with the church. Cause, and you can kind of get lost in a conversation besides that came from a church with like 30 people. Yeah, and true. yeah, your we did church too. is your small group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I came here and I'm like, you know, I didn't know what to do. And it's nice to like get that deeper connection and feel like you're actually the part of this. I completely agree with that as well. I would certainly hear about well over a year ago, thinking about anyone at the church. But getting into that small group, getting into a, just a group with a, a small number of people makes you be able to get to know them on a more personal level, get to laugh with them, get to pray with them, and just get to talk to them. So we were trying to find a new church, and we found something similar to like where I was going to from back at home. And like you all said, it's a very big church, and so you're just trying to figure out where you belong and who to connect with. Yeah. And like it took some time, and then once they brought up, you know, groups and we're like oh we're newlyweds we're, let's join the marriage group it's called marriage on the rocks and so you know you don't know what you're walking into being yeah. new too but it's like great group discussion you get to see the struggles and strengths of other married couples whether it's one year or 10 years or 20 years and just being able to like share those stories and connect with people and relate yep that's us we've been there yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i love that we're truly living life with our group because there have been times that i've come into the group and i've had just a horrible week and I can bring it to them and they'll stop everything they're doing and just pray over me. And I've had, I mean, I struggle with anxiety really, really bad. So it's hard for me to open up to people or to have those conversations. It's easier for me just to act like everything's okay and just to be quiet and keep it all to myself. But in this group, I just feel safe. And it's a safe place where everyone is truly invested in your life. Everyone truly cares about you. And it's not just because they're in your group, but it's, they're your family in this group. They're your small group. They're your friends, they're your family, and so they actually care. People that you like, I mean, who doesn't like barbecue and meat? Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, it's it just getting together and just sharing tips and tricks, and then also digging into the word um, through that. It's just been amazing because it's just, I'm, I'm socially awkward, but finding a, con a, a, a connection. connection point yeah. is is made it easier for me to be able to make connections with people mm -hmm. um, and make friendships that I know that are going to last. I think we learned too about any group that you join. You know, God has to be your main focus, mm -hmm. whether it's in your marriage or your single relationship with yourself yeah. and God. And it's just you know every time you just hear somebody else talking, you, know, you can either relate or learn too. And it's yeah, and that's what great about that is just being able to always learn and keep God as your focus. Yeah.